had a bit of a squeaky voice this week, so I hope it doesn't interfere. <clears throat> I'm reading a devotion book written by Sheila Walsh. Sheila is a lovely Irish lady who is often co-host of Dr. Jeremiah's Sunday TV show. In years past, she was a host of the 700 Club, and for 18 years, she was a motivational speaker for the wonderful women of faith uh, that many of our friends have enjoyed. This week, one of the devotions was called, Don't Drop It. She talks of a family incident that stays in her memory. <clears throat> many families have a special keepsake, she said, from loved ones gone on to glory, maybe a piece of jewelry, a china dish, a painting, or a favorite book. My mom <clears throat> had a special glass vase that she kept in her china closet. She would take it out and gently wash and polish it, and as she put it back, she would say, this has been passed down from generation to generation. I adore it. <clears throat> this intrigued me as a young girl. So one day, Sheila says, even though I could see the vase just fine, where it was, I decided to have a closer look. So I took it out of the china closet. As I held it up to the light from the window, it slipped from my hand and crashed to the floor in many pieces. I knew I had to own up to my disaster. Mom, I said, with my heart in the pit of my stomach, you know that vase has been passed down for generations to generations. Mom, this generation just dropped it. <clears throat> Sheila said, this is kind of like my spiritual life. I don't want to be the generation that drops the Christian values that we have grown up with. She says, what we're facing today are some of the problems other generations have not passed, have not um, felt. And that we have got to face them, that these are times of evil. And you know, as I read the devotion and thought about it, I thought, I feel that way too. It seems every, like everything that was true and beautiful seems to be on trial. The media has turned evil into reality. We are made to govern by made to abide by govern rules that we really don't want to do. Few people stand up for truth and honor this day and time. And so, in my prayer time, I would say, God, what can we do? How can we stand strong in our faith and not disobey or did not or dishonor our Lord and our greatest power? is that source of the Holy Spirit in our life. That greatest power is God's word that tells us what to do. Our greatest power is hearing that word as we worship together. We must be an example to those that we come in contact with each day. In Esther 4.14, it has these words, and I took them into my heart, and I thought about it, and I share it with you. Who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. If these are your last days, if these are the last days of your life, make your actions count. Carry the banner that says, the Lord is my shepherd. Declare it daily. Don't be the one that drops it. Amen. Amen. Amen.